Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Science with Raghav. In today's video, I'm going to talk about private GPT. Uh, it's an open source uh, library which you can download locally on your uh, Mac or Windows machine and run GPT in a local mode so that you don't need to share any of your private data with OpenAI. So if you want to run a chat GPT like model in your local machine without connecting to the internet, this video is for you. So first of all, let me show you what it can do. So this is currently running in my Visual Studio code. I've already set it up and I gave it a query how to create a perceptron in Python. So it gave me the response in like 30 to 40 seconds. Um, and then it showed me from where it picked up the response from the data set that I gave it to learn from. And then it gave me the uh, way I can implement it in uh, Python. Although I wanted a basic implementation of Perceptron, it gave me a, a implementation using a, a library called sklearn. But that's not uh, uh, the point. Uh, the point is that you can use your local documents to make ChatGPT learn from your documents and answer based on those. So this is how it answers your questions in your terminal window and you can enter a query here which takes right 30 to 40 seconds to um, give a response so i have only trained it on one of my pdfs which was a book from aaron garon on uh, deep learning so i trained it using that and i can ask questions like what is deep learning and we'll wait for like 30 to 40 seconds to get the answer so i'll fast forward this video all right guys as you can see the model has returned its output now and let me go back to my question so this was my question what is deep learning and it gave me this answer all by reading from the document that I provided it to learn from and I'll show you in a minute how to do that but this is the answer for deep learning what is deep learning and the answer is given from the book that I gave it so it went through the whole book learned from it and found the relevant answer for me so deep learning refers to a subset or type of machine learning that involves training artificial neural networks with multiple layers using back propagation algorithms for optimization purposes in order to solve complex problems such as image recognition tasks and large data sets like those used by Jeffrey Hinwood at all. So as you can see, it gave me a complete definition of deep learning. It also cited the source document. I trained it on just one document, so it just gave me that document here. This is the name of that book. This is the name of the document. Hands-on Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras, and TensorFlow Concepts by Aurelin Geron. Sorry if I'm butchering the name. But yeah, so you can see that running it locally, you can train it on your document. So if you work in an organization which doesn't allow you to train or which doesn't allow you to send prompts of your uh, confidential data to OpenAI, you can use this private GPT installation on your local machine to make it learn from your local documents and then have a robust question answering system trained for your own uh, organization. So it's pretty powerful. I was looking for something like this and it came across. So I'm just sharing it with you guys as well. So this is how it works. Now let me show you how to actually install it. So in order to install it, first you need to go to a GitHub uh, page. Let me switch to that. All right. So this is the GitHub page uh, where uh, you can clone the repo for private GPT. It has all the instructions how to install it. All you need to do is first of all, git clone it using this link. I hope you're aware of how to clone a repo from GitHub. All you need to do is go to git bash or any other git client on your machine and do git clone and paste this HTTPS code there, uh, link there, and you'll get uh, the folder on your local machine. And then you need to edit the requirements.txt, sorry, not edit. You need to just run this pip install command to install all the requirements. Download this model. There are other models you can download, but you, I downloaded this one, which is working fine. So if you click on this, it will start the download. And uh, it's a pretty big file. Uh, it is almost a three gig file. So it will take maybe a few minutes depending on your internet connection. And then once it is done, 
what you need to do is uh, you need to go you need to open your code in visual studio code or any code editor you will see on the file browser that there'll be a file called example.env all you need to do is remove the text example from it and just name it .env and also give the path for your model so i downloaded the model from the link that i showed you and then i just copied it to my developer folder where i have private gpt uh, library uh, the package cloned over there and then i just gave the path to my model that's all the change i did i just commented out this line this was already there and saved this file so after doing that let's go back to the github page and see the next instruction so now once you have done you once you've changed the environment file you have given the path to your model what you need to do now is go to the source documents directory uh, inside the folder where you have cloned it so let me uh, go there so here this is my folder where i have uh, cloned the repo and you will see source documents folder inside this you can paste all of your documents uh, and i just pasted one but if you paste more it will take some more time to train uh, but i just for the demo purposes i just pasted one of my books that is a very large book almost like 500 pages and uh, i trained it uh, let's see how i trained it so going back to the uh, github page so th these are all the file types that are supported there are pdfs there are csv so you can put in your data your pdf and then you just need to run python ingest.py command on your terminal window in visual studio code which you can easily do it will take like a uh, few minutes to learn from the document it will create a vector store on your local machine so let's go back to our code uh, so here is the code and as you can see there is a db folder and it created these two parquet files based on my python dot python ingest dot py command and it read the source documents and created this vector store based on which it will answer my questions all right rest all i didn't touch anything so once you have done that once you have made it learn from your documents uh, the next step is uh, to 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 start the inference engine so let's go back to the github page so all you need to do is run the private gpt.py using this command and then it will give you this prompt enter query which i showed you in the beginning of the video you can ask any questions which are relevant from your documents it will answer only from your documents it will not answer anything which is not contained in your documents so if you want to train it for example on your local support or app support uh, documentation that you have uh, in your organization what you can do is you can paste all your wiki articles that in your organization uses to troubleshoot any of the applications if something goes wrong in production it will just read from there and then you can simply ask questions okay this application is not working please suggest what should i do so it will give you a step by step uh, you know method of how to debug your application in production and how to resolve the situation so it's i think it's a pretty game changing thing uh, for the organizations who don't currently allow using open api open ai's apis so all in all this is the video and i hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned from it so i regularly share such videos on ai and data science so if you want to learn more please subscribe to my channel and like and comment if you need any uh, if you have any feedback or if you want to learn more about this so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye